Okay, so before we move on to alkene, let's solve some problems on the reactions of alkene. So the question is, give the major product for the following reaction. And reaction number one is... Now in this bicyclo compound, suppose I add bromine in presence of light and uh, you are asked to give the major product. Now in case of bromine, we have had discussion before that bromine is very selective. The reaction of bromine is thermodynamically driven. So bromine has lots of time because bromine free radicals is stable enough to wait and search for the most stable site. So uh, bro the major product will be the one where this bromine free radical will get attached to a carbon which forms most stable free radical right so in general terms we say that bromine will be attached to a 3 degree carbon because generally generally this carbon will have more hyperconjugation from all three sides because it, it is attached to 3 carbon so generally 1 degree carbon the free radical on 3 degree carbon is more stable than that of 2 degree carbon is more stable than that of 1 degree carbon so we say that this bromine will get uh, get attached to a 3 degree carbon but in certain special case when a free radical is more stable suppose on 2 degree carbon then the story would be different it's not about 3 degree 1 degree or 2 degree it's about stability the one where the free radical will be most stable there there the free radical will be formed and subsequently there the bromine will get attached but if suppose free radical is more stable at some other position then in that case bromine will get attached to some other position for example suppose you have this problem and you have the same reagent you have bromine in presence of light so in this case you have been asked to predict of to find the major product so in this case you will not attach bromine here this is a 3 degree carbon extending the idea that we have been talking of this bromine is selective so bromine will attach will wait and find the most stable position now in if you have a alkene there we don't have a pi bond so but in this substrate i have given you a pi bond right and if you have to ha do photohalogenation if you have to do photobromination here then bromine has to get attached to a carbon which forms the most stable free radical so in general terms when we don't have a pi bond then a 3 degree carbon forms the most stable free, free radical because you have more hyperconjugation but here you can have a factor which is more important than hyperconjugation as we have talked ab nauseum before that is resonance right if you remove this hydrogen it there a free radical will be formed on this carbon and this carbon will have hyperconjugation from three sides right but if we don't remove hydrogen from this carbon, if we remove hydrogen from this carbon, then a free radical will be formed on this carbon, right? Now this carbon enjoys the stability due to resonance. Because this free radical is in conjugation with this pi bond, there can be resonance of this free radical with this pi bond. This free radical can come here, pi bond shifting here, right? So there can be resonance, there will be distribution of free radical on two carbon plus there is hyperconjugation of this free radical from one CH bond here and when this free radical comes on this carbon there will be a hyperconjugation from three hydrogen on this carbon so that makes this free radical more stable as a rule of thumb if there is resonance that makes it more stable than the one having only hyperconjugation here we have both hyperconjugation and resonance so there is no doubt this free radical the carbon the free radical on this carbon has to be more stable than the free radical on this carbon right so we don't have to be adamant about three degree carbon we have to be adamant about more stable free radical if we have a resonance there will be a free radical on a carbon that can enjoy resonance so this free radical is more stable so bromine will get attached here fine so this will be the major product now extending the same idea
suppose we have propyl benzene so in propyl benzene suppose I carry out chlorination so in case of propyl benzene the major product like there are three kinds of carbon first of all as I have told you before this chlorination will not be on benzene ring though they are a hydrogens if you look the, the valency of carbon the, we can cite three valencies of carbon this carbon is making two sigma bond and one pi bond the fourth valency is with hydrogen which we don't draw but we know that there are hydrogen so there are five hydrogen on the ring but substitution will not occur with these hydrogen for the reason I have told you before that these hydrogens are attached with sp2 hybridized carbon sp2 hybridized carbon is more electronegative it forms a stronger bond so those hydrogens are not removed off easily when you have other hydrogens available which are attached to sp3 hybridized carbon so these hydrogens outside the ring they are the contenders to go to the reaction so they will be substituted now the question is which carbon we have three carbon one directly attached to the ring the one after that and the one after that so there are three kinds of ca carbon and they correspondingly there are three kinds of hydrogens which are attached to those three kinds of carbon so where will a chlorine free radical at get attached a chlorine free radical will get attached to a carbon which forms more stable free radical though the reaction of chlorine as we have discussed is not thermodynamically uh, driven it is kinetically driven but even then even then we have two hydrogen here two hydrogen here and three hydrogen here so there is not much of a difference in hydrogen so if you look from kinetics point of view the numbers are almost same on all carbons then when you have the same numbers then the thermodynamic factor will come in and when you go with thermodynamic factor then you have to look at the carbon which for will form most stable free radical and this carbon which is directly attached to benzene ring will form most stable free radical for the simple reason that the free, rad free radical will be able to do resonance with the ring if you, f if, you, if, you if you form a free radical on this carbon that will be in isolation with the ring because of presence of this carbon this CS2 between this carbon and the ring and similarly on the methyl group there will be no resonance with the ring so this carbon is in conjugation with the ring it will form a free radical that can do resonance with the ring that will make the free radical stable so you just add chlorine here this will give you the major product pretty simple Th that's how you have to see fine so uh, let's study alkenes and then then the reaction will combine al reaction of alkene and the reaction of alkene and once we study alkynes then we'll combine all of three and study more uh, uh, reactions but for now uh, that's all about alkene